Hello all, I'm Man Fox Dog and here I am with another tour of 2.5. As you can see, the icons are a bit different, we've got a bit of functionality but not a lot. The only buttons available now are currently the same buttons but they need a bit of work, it's the overlapping and stuff like that. And we can rotate the view, use the numpad, top, select multiple things. Da -da -da. Can't use track two because constraints haven't been ported yet. There's no we've got that. No manipulators. You can grab, rotate, and scale and all that. We've got very basic edit mode. Grab, move it around. That's pretty much it. But this I couldn't show you before. We've got a split with the window and it updates automatically in real time. The RNA viewer is no more. It is in the outliner. We've got the normal outliner like always. But we've changed this to data blocks and now we have RNA. Now if we extend this a bit go say materials material. You can change ambient colour, diffuse colour, all that. screen for those who are used to Maya and all that who like list views attribute editors well this is all right pretty close to it everything's in alphabetical order not type order because grouping because there is no groups of RNA so we go back we got pop-ups so as you can see I go alt R to rip this area out that pops up saying, do you want to do it or not? And we've got a crash. So we'll go back again. Yeah, that's close enough. So we're back, we've got all this. And now, what we've got is repeat light at last action. So let's say I move this. Now if I press F4, it asks, do I want to repeat the last action? And we'll split that one go. Split that, split that. Pretty much the same amount as I split it uh, in properly. So it is uh, the, the, the each area has their own viewpoint. So now we join all these back up. Uh, da -da -da. Now we're going to do something really cool. Is S scale? Sorry, oh, it's not working. It must be a different. Oh, that's right. It's been tr changed. Sorry. You can split the region. So I'll go say the action editor. We've got one region over here, and I've got a big region here. Now if I press F5, it'll flip it over to the other side. That's why it means to have full regions. That's the dope sheet. The one thing that's been ported over so far will be the dope sheet from the NM Sys 2 branch. Which, if I open up, uh, yep, do. as you can see, oops, lost it all. There we go. It'll be like Maya, Max, whatever. So currently you can't really do anything, you can't collapse, see what the IPOs are. You can see the keys, keyframes, which look really nice, new, nice smooth icons. Go back to the action editor. And now we go with, oops, let's join you, join you, and join you, then we can join you. Just to action editor, and we'll join you. So, go this, deny this, change this back to action editor. As you can see, we've got all our keyframes. So, frames all in groups, everything's right. Got the frame number on the slider, snap in, whatnot. 
Now, moving keyframes uses the same tra um, transformation library as the rest of Blender. Keyframes don't have their own grab, rotate, scale library. They use all use the same thing. So grabbing a frame will be the same as grabbing an object in 3D view. That makes things nice and uniform and really good. Really good to debug. So we get back out of here. We can't shift select layers yet, but we can play back in oh, hang on, old A. Not hooked up yet. So we have to use the timeline, so join that area. And then we can play back animation in that. Now we stop. Well, something really cool is interactive numbers. So if I change this, say we go say two, you'll see it automatically goes to two, twenty-three stays at twenty-three, zero, one hundred and thirty. It's the same with this. We go one. Two, three, and changes as I'm inputting it. Now, when they got a large scene, yes, that can, will be slow, but as you can see, it's pretty quick because it is. We got basic nodes, but since I'm not got any nodes. Here, so we've got basic drawing of nodes, no translation yet, anything like that. Uh, da, 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 da. We do have a script window, so where's a script? So I can, all the operators in Blender are available from Python at the moment. So if I press Using this little script here, simple one line vPy operator, view 3D, OT select all, to select all. If I press P, it will. Alright, my bad. So I'll just change that to see. It's an object now, sorry. Did that go back. So if I change this to object, object I see this at all, okay. Now if I go into Blender here, now if I press P to run that script, it will select all. So so let's let's do a little a little experiment here. So I'll just split that. Now I'm running in debug, so you can see when I'm running an operator, it comes up here, seeing what's going on. So, so we want action zone, screen, OT, split area, da 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 da. So we go. I will copy that. So copy. We'll go say five. Split half area in half, pretty much. So we go back into the blender. We'll get rid of this joint, this area. Now if I press P, it splits it directly in half from the script. So you can control the user interface directly from Python. And that makes for cool Python based buttons, scripting, full on. Python integration into the UI. So that's Blender 2.5 tour number two. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.